right, guys. Got her hooked up. Let's turn her on. Now, this is going to be Hummingbird's uh, basic unit here. Uh, only thing this fish finder really offers is going to be down imaging and sonar. Okay, and this isn't like a high definition screen or anything. It's just your basic standard uh, three and a half inch uh, little kayak or, or John boat fish finder. It's going to give you a basic picture of the bottom. You can change the sensitivity on it from one to ten. And uh, as you can see, it'll give you a little fish symbol. Different structure out that you can see there is a tree or some boulders. Uh, it just gives you kind of an idea of what's down in the bottom. Now we can change this to down imaging. And it'll give you a much higher presentation of the bottom there. A little more detailed idea of what's going on. Wait for the screen to come through here. And as you guys can see, those boulders that were just uh, on the screen last time, you can kind of identify them and tell what they are. Along with that stick and that branch that was there. Look at that detail. Yeah, I mean, for, for your basic unit, this thing is amazing. Uh, of course, these two units are going to give you more of that, but that's just a little uh, sample of what's to come with these other ones. As you can tell, the, the grass there, the stump, the fish right there, I mean, it, the detail's there. So it's going to be an asset for all you little boat fishermen and kayak guys. But let's move on to the, uh, the bigger one. The nice thing about all these units is that they, uh, they all plug in the same port. Go port to port. All right, guys, here's the 597. Transducer not connected. I am aware of this. So aware of this. All right, guys, as you can see in this, the navigation system immediately pops up because this unit is uh, outfitted with that ability. Um, press exit here, get out of that. And we're going to go and cycle through the modes here. Um, as you can see, this is navigation with down imaging, navigation with sonar and just down imaging and as you guys can see the the resolution on this screen is much higher than it was on the uh, the 197 uh, just a better quality picture as you guys can see that detail is is quite amazing uh, this is like a five-year-old unit so I mean even back in the day they had some pretty good technology let's go into the uh, split screen here this is sonar and down imaging and as you guys can tell I mean that just the the simple resolution of the screen is is higher. I mean, it's a high, high definition screen, so you're, you're going to get those those subtle de details that you're not going to pick up in that other unit. Here's just sonar, just extremely detailed there, very clear. Split screen sonar with zoom, just zoom there, and and you can change the different settings in it and stuff. There's if you're ice fishing or you just want to, you feel like that, that's a better presentation for you. You can do that. And then just navigation. So that's kind of this unit. Um, as you guys can tell, it's really a detailed, detailed system they got here at, at Humminbird. I've only ran Humminbird in all my boats and it's, it's really a, a great product. I've, it's never really failed me. Uh, sometimes the buttons stick, but other than that, it's, it's a great deal. So Let's put this one down. As you guys can see, it gives you uh, the depth, water temp, miles per hour, timer, voltage, different little uh, information systems there that kind of kind of make it nice. So, and it also tracks all all your navigation systems and stuff. Um, <clears throat> this one's even got a little uh, a little little twist off here where you can throw the navigation card. And uh, just slide it in and out. You can use Navionics or Lake Master, any of them. Slide it back on in, twist it up, and you're good to go. Power on and off. We'll go to the uh, Helix 5 here. Like I said, these all use the same plugins, so let's turn her on. Let's see what comes up here. Transducer not connected. I am aware. 
I am. So as you can tell, immediately the navigation system pops up. And uh, just like the 597, uh, you scroll through with view and first comes up with down imaging. And the difference between this unit and the other one is the resolution on this one is higher and this one has side imaging. So that's a little bit different. Uh, I've never really used that before. This will be the first time this year using it. There's side imaging for you. I cannot wait to use that in, in the real world application. Uh, it's just going to give you a much clearer idea of what's going on in the bottom. As you can tell, I can look at 120 feet right and left um, of the bottom of the boat. Let's bring it a little bit closer. There it is. As you guys can tell, there's down imaging on, on the left there and uh, side imaging on the right. You can even do all three of them together. So you got sonar, down imaging, and side imaging all together. You can even do things like uh, split position, change it left and right. You know, a lot of simple different things that make this fish finder an amazing asset. Um, <clears throat> there's just side imaging. You can even do things like shrink your side imaging size so you can be more defined on that. Uh, there's the sonar. Very high, very high detail on that. Uh, once again, it's that split zoom sonar. Sonar with side imaging. Just sonar, the ice fishing one. And just your simple nav navigation system here too. Uh, we can clear current track. I don't really ever use that one. I use this one more or less than anything. Um, it just gives you that, that zoomed out one and the zoomed in one. So if you're on a creek bed or fishing a, a narrow part of a lake or a river, it's, it's really easy to use. And you can just kind of scroll through. And the main reason that I purchased this one was the, uh, the fact that it had side imaging. So there's that for you guys. Um, there's all three of them. Uh, all different versions of each other, kind of. All very similar, yet very different. Um, I'm excited to use them. And excited to see what they will do for it. So, Alright guys, well that's it for this episode. Hope you guys liked it, learned something, and enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.